Hello, hello everyone. Sai here. Thank you so much for joining me for another craft roulette submission. This is for Eps or submission 121. This will be the die that I'll be using for this card um, to make the scene. And in the top, well, it's not there yet, but I'll, I'll keep moving it to the top right hand corner whenever I remember. Um, and it's going to be the criteria. So right now, the first one is it needs to be a book binding card. So I'm taking pretty much an A2 size card, but I'm folding it at, what is that? Four and a quarter and five and a quarter, was it? Uh, something along those lines. It doesn't really matter. Um, as long as you get a little bit of a book binding, like a, something that you're gonna glue down, it doesn't have to be that thick. I was following someone's tutorial online and that's why I got that. For this particular card, I did have to cut my paper in four colors. Um, so we are allowed any three colors, but taking into consideration all neutrals are allowed. So that means the cream, the white, and the brown are given, so they don't count. So right now I'm only using green as my first color. And so this is what it's going to look like. And I've taken out these colors and distressed ink, and I'm going to ink up all the edges of all those pieces. The Rustic Wilderness I did plan on using on the green, but it didn't work. So I'm just going to use the brown on the green instead. And I think it's, um, it's not Walnut Stain. Maybe it is. It's one of those darker browns. If you pause the video, you'll see what it says. <laughs> it's just moving way too fast. Um, I do have to have the video a little bit faster just to save on time. So I'm just inking up all the edges here and then... Um, when that's done, I'll put it back together again. The other elements while this is happening is it needs to be a small scene and it needs to contain a house or houses. So I'm going to do the small scene and houses as a, as a bundle. So I'm going to knock those two off at the same time. So to finish it off, I'm going to use the vintage photo on the green. Um, the Rustic Wilderness just wasn't dark enough. You couldn't really see it. And I want it to be a little more dark since all the other ones have a really defined brown um, uh, shading. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you the stamps I'm using. I'm going to stamp those all out. I am using two sets from Simon Says. They're both from card kits in the past. And I actually saw someone else make a card this submission. Um, I forgot their names already. I, I tried to remember so I could say in the video, but I, I forgot. Um, but they use this exact stamp set. Um, so that was kind of fun just to see other people using the same stuff. The ink I'm trying today is Catherine Pooler. I have no clue if this is going to work, but this is a brand new ink that I had received. Um, there was a yard sale and a friend of mine got me them. And um, so I was really excited to try them out. I don't think the black is alcohol friendly. At least it wasn't uh, for me, but it wasn't too bad. And then this is the other stamp set I'm using. However, I don't own anything that can hold this big long stamp. So I have to use this little itty bitty uh, block and, and I'll just, uh, I'll fast forward this whole thing. You don't need to see me try to suffer through this. Um, but I'm gonna stamp it quite a few times just to get the images. I'm gonna color them all off camera and then I'm gonna fussy cut out the two houses and these little trees. Um, the trees were definitely very fun to try to fussy cut out because they had those little twig stick stumps. <laughs> but I love fussy cutting. It's just something I love to do. So it is not a problem for me. I I, I don't have much patience on some things, but when it comes to fussy cutting, I, I, I don't get it. But um, I do. <laughs> for the colors, my next two colors, so green was the first one, and the next two is going to be red and purple. I did bring pink in because I was looking for a blend and I forgot that pink technically is a fourth color. Um, so I'm actually going to trim most of it off just in case. I mean, technically it is a red with a lot more white <laughs> or light attached to it. But um, so I'll cut most of it off just in case. Play it on the safe side. I did spritz it with a little bit of water and then I'm just going to go over it again with some ink just so it's not so striking. Um, obvious that there is some water stains on it but still nice. Disregard the brightness my camera seems to want to go bright and, and dark so you'll, you'll the background will kind of 
glow <laughs> at some points. I don't, I don't get this technology. You think I would, but I just, I cannot figure it out. Um, but just so you know. And now I'll just start gluing everything down. And I'm not worried about that piece missing in the bottom corner there. I am going to fill it in with some scrap pieces of paper and everything will be just fine. So while I'm doing this, I just want to say that um, if you are interested in craft roulette, definitely give it a try. It's nothing to be scared of. Um, great people. I love this service so much. I'm, I'm loving it more and more. It really gets you just trying new things, um, having a lot of fun. And even if you just go to the community, the, the website, and just meet the people, like you cannot... Let's just say if you are having a bad day, just hang out there for for even one hour, half an hour, 10 minutes, just hang there and you will be smiling. They're just so darn friendly there. Um, I, I'm not kidding. It looks like um, the host, Mary, does put a lot and a lot of attention, love and details to this, this um, craft roulette and um, oh, what's the other one? Fun University. So it, it really shows. Um, I'm very drawn and susceptible to kindness, and I really pick up on it. Um, of course, I don't know Mary personally, um, but she's doing a, a really good job of attracting my attention, and I, I would not share something that I didn't feel good about. Um, so definitely check it out. Have fun with it. And you, like I said, you don't need to create a card. You can just watch you can partake and just see what other people give people comments make them feel good um, we all need that we all like it um, or just even if you just doodled follow the parameters and doodle on a piece of paper just to just to make yourself smile um, it's all win-win so anyways let's go back back to my camera glowing as as you can see it's it's glowing bright red it's like magic <laughs> the ink is like <laughs> special ink so here is the, sorry here is um, my scene I'm just going to build this up and I'm just going to trim some excess white off of the of the paper it's, it's pretty hard because it is very dainty and small I'm going to put the trees around the house and, and a couple of pine trees up on the mountain there or a little grassy hill and then I'm just going to position them up so it's kind of like a little scene a little home a little valley or village or or whatnot um, just to create something nice and cozy and fun the colors i did choose for the houses are the same purple and red as i did for the sky so those are the three the three colors are red purple and green and i'm just going to glue these up i'm not going to use any foam nothing fancy just gluing them and and kind of stacking the trees on top of the house just to create some dimension without actually using foam tape Okay, and then, oh, I thought that was already glued down. <laughs> so we'll glue that one down. And I decided I am not going to put it on the hill. I liked it down here in the bottom. I'm then going to take this alcohol marker. I think it's eggshell. Um, I don't, I'm moving way too fast here. E50 maybe. Um, and I'm just going to do a bunch of little dots, kind of give the ground a little bit of texture. I'm already using linen style cardstock. But this will allow me to just add a little bit more sep uh, separation and shading and stuff like that. The reason I like doing this is mainly because it helps me learn how to shade and color. There's always some madness, right? There's always a reason. Um, so I'm doing the same thing, just adding a little bit of pebble dots and, and such not. But it's really all to help me learn how to shade and color and see what happens when I do certain things. So... That's how you learn. You just keep, keep trying. I then took a piece of scrap. It, this is the exact same color as the ground I was just using a Copic marker on. And I'm just going to use that as the fill or to fill on the left hand side there. And that's my book binding side. Um, and I'm just going to trim that off if it's overhang. Yep, yeah, trim that off a bit. And then that the reason I chose this color is because I didn't want to create anything that would take away from the scene. And so a nice dull color like this is, is just perfect. I am going to ink it with the leftover residue of 
ink that I had on this and I don't think that's vintage photo. I think it might be in burlap sack. But I'm just going to go all over the whole thing just to give it because the mountains and all that already have the inked edges. So this kind of just ties it all together. To kind of fill in that little teeny white gap where it's folding, I have a Love From Lizzie peel-off sticker, and this comes in the brown pinstripe. And I'm just going to kind of follow that on the edge. Granted, it is going to move when you move the card, um, but I'm not worried about that. It's, it's not a big deal. This is, and I'm just going to fold it back into the card because technically this card will be glued on that binding. I forgot to do it in this video, just so you know. I did it off camera, but it is glued down. I then have this Hello die that I got from a Simon Says kit, I believe, last year or year before. And I cut it three times in the same brown color as the mountains in the scene. That just gives me a nice little sturdy thickness to a, a sentiment. I typically always do three layers on a, on a word sentiment die and then i'm just going to glue that down centering it right in the center uh centering it right on the middle of that banner that margin i guess you can say and then to finish off the card i'm going to go through my stash of enamel dots pretty much every single one of those enamel dot strips is from an old card kit called scrapping for less um, they they stop from now, but all of those are from those kits. And I'm going to use four of them, two on either side. And I'm just going to try my best to space those out. And that's going to finish my sentiment and everything. And that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this card. I had a lot of fun making it. A lot of different elements um, with this one. With the ink blending, the die cutting, the coloring. Um, just a lot of fun to work with. I do hope that has created some inspiration for you in any sense, uh, whether it is just to get inky, um, doodle, book a vacation, I don't know, <laughs> whatever goes, uh, whatever makes you feel good. Um, so thank you so much for joining me. And until the next time, have a wonderful day. And I hope you all have a beautiful weekend um, and enjoy. Take care. Bye.